Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Software Automation Experience. This is Altaf Zed Huttar. Today I am back with another most exciting video of how to set if condition in JMeter test suite. Uh, what is uh, if controller and how we can make use of if controller inside the JMeter test suite is what I am going to uh, show you today. So let me take you through the uh, steps. The first step is create two test cases inside the JMeter. So let me take you to the already created JMeter test suite where I am creating a patient. I am just adding some patient data and creating it inside the uh, repo, uh, database. So this is uh, the first test case. Let me first execute this and check if this will execute uh, fine. So I have already uh, set some uh, properties inside uh, config.properties file. Uh, that means uh, I have set the values for uh, the fire server protocol, uh, server IP and the path inside config.properties file in uh, JMeter test suite. Uh, let me show you that. Let me open this in config.properties file. Here I have set the values or the properties uh, which I need to execute the test case. Okay. Uh, let me execute this test case first. So let me clear all and uh, let me uh, start, uh, load the uh, properties which are uh, set in config.properties file by using step by step debugger start. So we need to do it twice then only it will uh, load the uh, proper values from the file okay just start the execution as you see uh, the test case is passed it's in green color the patient is got created inside the database we have got uh, 201 created response <clears throat> okay so our need is to create two test cases so let me just name it as create patient one and I will uh, just duplicate this. I'll just uh, copy this control C and we'll do control V inside the simple controller. So it will create me the another test case. I'll just name it as create patient two. Uh, the patient name I'll set it as Alan Donald. Okay, let me save this by pressing Control S. So this got saved, and let me execute this once again. Just click on Start; it will be executed. The as you can see, create patient one and create patient two. Both the requests got executed successfully with 201 created response. So this way, uh, we uh, we have added two test cases. Let's check what is the next step. Next step is to add property in config.properties file. Okay, so as we have property uh, uh, file that is config.properties inside the test suite directory, so uh, let me add a property inside this. So here I will add one property named is tests enabled. Okay, and I'll make it as uh, true the value i'll set it as true i'll save this okay so uh, let me make use of th that property inside the uh, test suite how can i do that let me first uh, add a line in the test plan and copy the value is tests enabled and let me create it as dollar or else I will just copy paste from the above one and we'll provide the name of the property here. Okay. I will save it. So next thing is this will uh, read the value now from that file. Okay. So let me just check what is the next step. The next step is read the property value in test suit. So yeah, that is how it will read uh, the property value from this file config.properties. Okay, inside this, uh, what is my next step? 
the next step is add if condition under if controller so let me add an if controller inside this simple controller so what is uh, how can i do that right click add go to logic controller if controller i'll add it i'll drag it to top okay let me uh, configure uh, the if condition i uh, i'll make use of uh, that uh, property which i have uh, set here inside the uh, config.properties file so here i'll just set it as uh, call it as vars.get is tests enabled dot to uppercase method i will make use of is equals to is equals to if it is true then i want this to be executed uh, let me as uh, you know uh, means as it is written here underscore underscore groovy use underscore underscore jxl3 or underscore underscore groovy evaluating to true or false so let us make use of that before this okay so get So this way i will uh, just check if this value is set as true inside config.properties or not if it is set as true i would like to execute this test case let me just drag it and drop it inside the if controller okay to create patient on the first test case i have dragged and drop inside the if con if condition that is if controller uh, i'll just see if the configuration inside config.properties is set to true then i would like to execute create patient one this test case otherwise i would like to skip this okay this way so let me uh, uh, this is how we can uh, write the if condition and uh, make you um, by making use of if controller so let me do one thing uh, as the configurations or is tests enabled is set to true let me make it as false I'll save this and now I will uh, load the properties by using the step-by-step -step debugger by making it calling it twice as you can see here is test enabled is set uh, as false that that is loaded let me close this and start executing this as you can see only create patient 2 the second test case is executed the first test case is excluded why because we have set our um, if condition as our condition that is is test enabled as false this means this test case is not enabled uh, inside the if condition that is if controller we are checking that if it is true then only execute the first test case otherwise just simply execute the second test case that is what happened here so this way as you can see alan donald is passed and Alan Donald is created inside the database only. So this way we can make use of if condition inside the JMeter test suite and uh, by making use of if controller. So that's all in this video guys. Uh, if you, uh, you I would like uh, you to try this uh, uh, method and uh, if you uh, stuck at somewhere or if you have any doubts uh, you can write it in comments. I would like to uh, help you guys. So uh, keep tuning up until the next video. This is Altaf Senhudar signing off.